What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. In case you want to say fuck it, nigga. Nigga, what? Nigga, yeah, nigga. Hellcat, what? And I got a really is right here. Right here in the flesh. With his him, bro. Oh, bro. Man, we out here. Yeah, man, this is my brand new baby, man. This goddamn, this that 2019 goddamn Dodge Charger Hellcat game. Oh, bro. I had to get in a wash real quick. It was dirty. I had this car for a good, a good, a good little second. Well, I mean, second, like, good little, I don't even know. I just had it for a few days. I am the owner. Yeah. Is that 200 on the dash? Is that the hip? All right, stop it. Red seat? All right. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's, man, I just want to motivate y'all. That's all I want to do, man. That's all I want to do is motivate y'all, man. For real. I'm motivating people around my city. I love to see it though. I love to see all my people in it for real. For real. Ooh, hold on. Let me. Uh, hey. I know this video is probably weird because I, you know, you did. I just did this out of nowhere, but I was like, fuck, it's a sunny day. It's hot. I mean, not hot. Hell no. It's cold as hell, boy. I didn't even know why I didn't come out with a coat. It's cold as hell. But yeah, bro. I did that shit. Now, if you would have, if you would have had me on socials, if you had me on my socials, you would have seen like, goddamn, I've been had this, I've been had this car for a minute. I've been upgrading, I mean, not upgrading, I've been uploading on goddamn Instagram, all that. But uh, right now, I'm just cleaning my car. I'm gonna uh, hit y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera back on when you know, you goddamn, uh, when I'm ready to do it, on oh, bro. But look, yeah, yeah. I bet y'all want another mileage, huh? 36,000. 36,000, yeah. Ain't no high mileage over here, yeah. Yeah. Big Brimbos, yeah. Shit, boy, this shit too fast. Hey man, hey, that was my first time doing that shit too. A whole burnout. That shit smoked. Man, we out in there, and out here in these things, man. What was you in track? Hell yeah. I had it on line lock to uh, spin the wheels. It's been sticky now. motivational purposes only game like i only want to motivate people i want to inspire people to do what they want to do whenever they want to do it like i know there's a little me out there that was that is right now don't know what he want to do in life he just want his dream car don't have no direction are a 
person that's in the street life want to get out the street life and just live honest. I mean, that's what I'm doing, honestly. I'm living honest and doing things that I need to do to get to where I want to go. And honestly, I'm glad I took this route. You know why I took this route? Because I could have been somewhere else. I could have sent back myself for some years instead of having my dream car at 21. It's only it's only one time you only have your dream car at 21. And it's only one time you can't go back. I could have got this car a long time ago. Um, but it's what happens when you rush the process. You never want to rush the process. But if you do, it is what it is. Stuff happens for a reason. Stuff always happens for a reason. That's why you just got to be positive and manifest what you want in life because even though you might not get it you might manifest what you want but you're not gonna get it right now you will get it at the best time in your life and that's when i got this card the best time in my life stuff happened for a reason bro like my srt was stolen my srt jeep was stolen that's i'm gonna i'm gonna you know release a video of that when I have time, I mean, like when I make the video and stuff, whenever I have time. But I be working, boy. I be grinding. I be grinding, boy. They, goddamn, they ain't no joke, bro. If you if you not about to take the school route, boy, you better grind your ass off. Especially, especially if, damn, especially if you if you live with your parents to the point where. They not gonna take care of you, but they gonna let you live in the crib, bro. You better grind your ass off, boy. You living rent, you you living rent free, and you not about to take advantage of that, bro. You're crazy. And for the people that is that want to move out, if you want to move out, bro, think about this: bills, renter insurance, t car, like, bro, you get you gotta pay for a whole bunch of stuff. That could have set me back for some good minute, a good minute. I probably couldn't even have this car right now if I was to have those other bills that that people want to create. Trying to leave out the try to leave out their own home that they don't have to pay rent for. Crazy. Yes, I live I still live with my parents. And I do not care. Oh bro, I don't. Because you know the difference between me and you? I get to do what I want. Dead serious. I literally get to do what I want. If you got parents that's still strict. I still ask where you going, bro. You better leave. Bro, if you want to let that just go in the back of your head, oh, bro, who cares? Who cares if they ask? My granny asked me. I don't even, I just, I don't know. Oh, bro. Even if they ask, it's whatever. Like, they not asking to, like, they just asking so they know where you at, bro. But if you don't want them to know, if you truly don't want them to know, you don't have to tell them. But they forcing you and all that. It is what it is. Tell them. What's the worst thing ever? Well, your lips dry like a napkin. I really could. I don't know. I ain't about to do all that. But, um, yeah, bro. I just. It was good seeing it really is, bro. Because that's, that's what I needed, bro. Like. I got, I got friends that is about to get to the, get to the destination of where they want to be right now in life. And I just want every, I just, I literally want my whole team to win. I want them to be winning now. But even if it seems like I'm at the top or goddamn i'm progressing more than them that's not even it's not what it is even if i was i'm not leaving them alone like if as soon as bro if i if i get if i get a big check bro i'm not talking about no thousand i'm talking about i'm talking making like ten thousand a month not even ten thousand i need to make 30 i don't even need to make that i need to make a little bit more i'm not leaving them here bro i'm not leaving oh bro i'm not leaving them here if it came to the point where I had to leave, if I left my city, I would get situated in the city that I, I would want to be in. And then after that, once I get situated, 
Oh, I'm bringing all my niggas up. It's over with. I'm not leaving them here by themselves. That shit did. Because being in this city, you really go through something mentally. Dead serious, because there's nothing here for you. It's dead ass nothing here for you, except for school and a job and being satisfied with just living here. It's not a big city. Like, it's nothing. What? Movie theaters, trash, mall, trash, all that trash. The only thing that's good here is something to eat. But even that, bro, it's the same shit every single day. You can't you can't get something new every day, bro. You literally recycling from when you was a kid, on bro. Except for I don't know, cuz they had my city had Chick-fil-A, I don't know. I forgot what year. I was in high school. But I've been eating Chick-fil-A before this, before we had Chick-fil-A. I was in Chick-fil-A in Michigan cuz I, I lived there half my life too. But like I don't know. I'm talking about this serious shit. Just know. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't skip them ads. Enjoy this content that I'm about to give y'all because it is hard making content and working at the same fucking time. Like, posting on all these socials. Like, people think being a social media influencer is easy. It's not easy at all. If you... It's not. It's just not easy. As, as, as much shit you gotta post to stay consistent and get views and followers and just be up there on people pages bro you have to post consistently you have to go outside you have to bro it's cold it's freezing and i still freeze my ass off just to get y'all give y'all content y'all didn't ask for it but i love that y'all fucking support though for real like this is this is what i want to do but i've been in i've been doing this for so long that editing is so tiring for me bro like i was posting i was supposed to make it a long time ago but that's my fault for not grinding on this on the social media stuff a long time ago it's my fault but it's the only way now because boy i am not working for no other company in my life after this year it's over with like i have no other choice but to make it Otherwise, I failed. Otherwise, I failed. Even though I got this car, this is not the full life that I want. I don't want to live here with this car. I'd rather be in a bigger city with this car, Atlanta or something. Like, Atlanta is... I was supposed to be born there, too. That's the crazy part. But Atlanta is like my third home, for real. Michigan is my second. But Chicago, I can't wait to go back out to Chicago because Chicago love, showed me a lot of love for sure. I can't wait to go out there. But um this is this is it because I'm I'm going in the crib. I got I got work in a few hours. I'm not, I'm not about to goddamn go in there restless. I need to be ready. I need to like y'all keep me pushing, bro. I swear y'all keep me pushing, bro. When I see views, I'll be like, when whenever somebody just like tell me like I'm inspiring motivation. Bro, y'all give me a choice to not quit, like, at all. I have no other choice but to keep going, like, dead serious. Bro, this ain't, this ain't nothing but a toy right here. It's my dream car, but this ain't nothing but a toy. This is only the little thing I want. It's only little. Because, look, when I say... When I take off, nigga, it is over. I'm about to show y'all the life. I'm about to show you my whole story and everything. I can't wait because the mental struggles that you have to go through in your own city, especially if it's toxic as hell. And you have no other people out here motivating you, bro. Like, there's no, there's, bro, there's no person out here motivating. There's not even drug dealers that's motivating, bro. At all, our own drug dealers don't even got money. Bro, I was supposed to see a drug dealer in a Hellcat before me. Wait, I did. That's don't no, yeah, but that's a, that's a different. I'm talking about people my age. Like it, it just don't make sense, bro. I'm 21 with a Hellcat, my dream car. You only could do that once. 
I, I just don't know what to say, man. It's just, it's just crazy how these niggas living this. They live in the street life. They 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 selling and shit, but like they have nothing to show for it, like at all. Like I'm a I'm a car enthusiast to the fullest. Like cars is my life, so I'm not spending money on clothes, designer shit. Like you might see me in designer shit, but get the full understanding. I've been, I recycle my clothes, bro. I don't go out and, oh, I can't wear that fit because I wore it the other day. No, nigga, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not here to impress nobody. I'm just living my life. That's what I'm doing. I'm living my life. This car, I grinded the fuck out. I'll tell you that. This shit was not handed to me. Nobody didn't help me. Even with my SRT Jeep, nobody helped me. I grinded the fuck out. For sure. I had the SRT Jeep before I started making that big check for real. It's not even a big check. That shit little as hell. Like, I look... Bro, getting money a week... Right? Working... Shit. Working at a factory job, bro. It's not a factory for real. But it is a factory. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't want to tell my business up there. But, like... You could sit there and be like, dang, that's a big check. No, nigga, that shit little to me. Bro, a hundred something thousand a year. I don't even make a hundred something thousand a year, and that shit is little. Like, if I go make a hundred thousand a year right now, that shit won't be nothing to me. Because I expect bigger. I expect more. Because my future is supposed to be more. Once you once you think like that, bro, your life will change. You will want more. You will want to do better things in life. Like, another example. The drug dealers here where I live is different. Not even drug dealers. Any any fucking person that's in the street life here compared to Chicago is way different. Niggas in Chicago getting money. Even the street life. They, they getting money. They know what they do with their money. They living. But here, bro, people be worrying about the wrong things, bro. Worry about the wrong things fucking thing i'm worried about getting that bag and getting the fuck out so i can go live that freedom that fucking free life i'm not working for nobody no more after this year i'm telling you there's no other way bro once you start talking like that bro you're just gonna see like i don't even know you gotta see for yourself i was in high school not i didn't have no direction at all i was i came into high school with that bullshit saying i want to be a software engineer and shit like that but no i didn't that's just that was me hearing my like parents mouth saying like you want to go into a job making a lot of money which of course that's why i be going that's why i just be working bro that has be working my ass off but i'm i'm grinding the fuck out like this year to the max so I don't have to grind as hard as I did next year. Because I'm going to have that bag. I'm going to have it for sure. Like I said, I was going to have this Hellcat. I said this freshman year. I didn't even say it freshman year. Because I didn't even know nothing about what, I, what I'm what i talking today. I didn't learn that until junior year. Me, you, if you research, do your research, bro. Quit asking other people for answers, bro. Because I could have I could have did that. But I didn't because I understood that if you if you learn by yourself, bro, the reward is just better. You can't tell nobody can't tell you shit at all. Nobody can tell you shit. Like nobody could tell me shit about my SRT Jeep, this Hellcat. Nobody could tell me shit. Nobody didn't pay for shit. All me. Thank you, Khalil. Congratulations. Yeah. But uh stay stay tuned for some more content <laughs> but if you want to see like my hellcat every single day just add me on snap bro khalil jc simple uh uh, uh, uh youtube t subscribe what's another uh, uh instagram mr dot underscore for sure what is you doing go at me duh if you go at me you see this car every single day i i make sure that i post every single day on those because you once you gain those, I can't. I'm not. I can't even explain it for real. 
just know that when I'm up, up, my whole team going to be up for sure. And I'm not leaving them behind. As in, like, I'm not about to go up in life and look down at them and be like, yeah, those used to be the bros on for sure. Nah. Not like that. They didn't. They never asked of anything for me. I never asked anything of them. What do they? What they do the same? I don't know. Cause I'm just that type of kind-hearted person for sure. But I don't know, and I I wouldn't care, and we will never know until they get up, or until I get up. So we you just know that people know the people that know know that they coming up with me i let i let them know for sure i'm not you know just like comment share subscribe don't skip them ads hold on let's let's look at this car real quick hold on that was my wallet give me that back i don't know where you going bro forgot to go to the bank This car different for sure. For sure. This thing clean. I did a little, I did like a big, a big burnout. Ooh, it got dirty back there, didn't it? Yeah, I was I was doing my thing today, bro. It don't matter. It don't matter if you see you see these this tread is enough tread for you know you did to stick right. No. This it don't need needles, it needs drags for real. That's that's how powerful this car is. This car is it's fun but scary. If you don't know how to drive, you haven't been driving for more than four years. Do not start off with a car like this. I had, I didn't had. Y'all don't even know I didn't. Oh wait, do y'all? No, y'all don't. I didn't had every single Hemi, except for goddamn, you know, the expensive ones, Elephant. You dig? The Elephant. The goddamn, the one they just came out with, fifteen hundred horsepower, sixty thousand dollar crate engine. I didn't have every Hemi, 5.7, 6.4, the SRTG, the 6.2. Mods coming soon. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that for sure.